All right, what's up, y'all? Take a fan here. As always, about how today's video, we're here to showcase my team's new X Factor point guard build in NBA 2K23 Comp Pro Am. So, for those of you who watch the channel really consistently, this is going to be a really big twister, like a real complete game changer of something you would never expect for our lineup. So, as a good bit of you know, I have two different ways that I play this game as far as my Pro Am teams. We have our five out team that I run point guard on, and we kind of just have two spot ups, two corners, simple as that, obviously, right? That's how the offensive sets work. And there's not too much more than that, however. Whereas on the other end, we have my pick and roll team where we have AK as the point guard and then Apollo as the shooting guard. And I'm the pick and roller on a six foot nine big man. Long story short, we have now fused those two teams together and we're now going to run a five out style on our main team. So my boy AK and a lot, I think a lot of you guys are going to be excited to hear this as well. My boy AK is making a point guard for a five out offense that we can still run pick and roll with. He can still be the pick and roll PG. I can still be the pick and roller with my five out build that has 99 dunk. And I'll even showcase my build in today's video too so you guys can kind of understand the synergy between this stuff. But we will have some gameplay at the end of the video too. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, feel drop a like. Sub if you do, some noties. All good stuff. And like always, try this one at 2,000 likes. So... This build right here, like I said, is meant to play like a little bit of a point guard, but also can still spot up as an off guard slash two guard, so to say. And essentially, me and AK are going to play off each other. Locks can only guard one of the two of us. And at the end of the day, we're both used to being guarded by pure locks at all times. So being on the court together with each other will then open up the court for the fact that maybe AK will have a two guard on him. Maybe he'll have a power forward on him if I draw the lockdown's attention. Maybe if AK draws a lockdown attention, I get a power forward on me, which yes, do have pretty good interior defense and stuff like that, but obviously are not quite as able to pluck steel and stuff like that and just in general steal the ball, not to mention they're slower on their feet and it's easy to get past them so a lot of those things will open up not to mention our other wing whether it's apollo or another shooting guard or whoever the case may be if it's even tonic for that matter can really take advantage of the fact that smaller shooting guards are going to be on them me and ak can still utilize pick and roll offense while maybe even implementing some pick and pop while cutting that wing defense that wing player with the shooting guard defending him the spacing that we're going to have to cut on point guards is going to be ridiculous too it's going to be really fun to give you guys some more explanation if you do watch the videos but i do want to get into the build real quick because i know a lot of new viewers are going to be seeing this they kind of want to just cut to the chase but to give you guys who do watch the videos consistently a little bit of info on what the lineup is going to be it's the exact same lineup we run for our main team it's apollo on his 6-9 iq on his 6-9 and then we'll have tonic on his seven foot big man as well it's just that me and ak are going to be wanting different builds it's going to be this build right here that ak is going to be using and then i'll be using my 99 dunk build that's meant for five out and obviously can shoot as well so that is our adjustment as far as the lineup is going to go we'll have a couple subs that we can have here and there whether it's spill playing in the lock spot aka iq spot whether it's joey filling in for tonic spot but anyway enough chit chat let's go ahead and get into the build and explain what this is going to be really good for so we're going to be adding one finishing badge point obviously for the silver limitless takeoff 80 driving dunk for quick drops we all know paired with 60 vertical you're going to be able to do that ak doesn't care too much about the dunk meter stuff and i think that's gonna be plenty fine with the way that we're gonna play with this style as well so 80 dunk cuts it it's, it's good enough not to mention 67 close shot, 70 standing dunk. We can cut him off the wing and stuff like that too. If he has a smaller matchup, we want to just make things simple. And he can even still take people down to the paint and go ahead and standing dunk as well. Now, the finishing is very minimalistic as far as this stuff goes, but it's for a good reason that we will get to in just a second as well. So we'll keep on going throughout the categories and we'll explain the whole defensive situation because this is the really important part of this build but want to go one at a time. So obviously shooting wise, 24 shooting badges, it's going to be enough to run all the tier threes that you would want between blinders, catch and shoot and limitless, or even if you don't want catch and shoot enough to obviously afford all the tier ones here twos that you would like to run as well. As far as the ball handle, we didn't even really mention six foot eight is a really important part of this build that we're going to talk about. So AK is going to more so need that hall of fame click first step and doesn't care quite as much about the finishing badge tiering. Whereas for me, me being six foot nine and being our five out point guard, it's a little bit tough. I have 87 ball handle 75 speed of ball like 81 acceleration and don't have half quick first step don't have the kobe size up stuff like that so it's a little bit tougher for me to just go at pure locks all game that's why i need a build like this and maybe a player like this as well that's gonna be able to open up offense at a really really good rate so with the 92 three-pointer and the gold limitless paired with 89 ball handle and half quick first step and the kobe size up and stuff like that still good pass act i still i definitely think 78 pass act can get the job done ak only has 80 on his main build and he'd be throwing steamers on that main build as well so this is definitely gonna be something that I think we can achieve. Not to mention the spew ball just for the badge point. 22 playmaking, 24 shooting, and then we have 16 defensive badge points, as you can see. Now, we cut out the speed by one. As you can see, if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and max out the speed at 85 for the sake of being a lockdown. And that's actually what he's gonna be too. So let's get to talking about that. 
the defense. 16 defensive badges, and as you can see, we don't care enough to really go for the glove on silver. I think personally, silver glove is pretty worthless in this game. I don't think you really get many pluck steals anyway, especially if your intention is to guard ball. 85 steel doesn't really get the job done. It doesn't really do a whole lot much. So honestly, I, like really, you look at 78 steel at that point and maybe go a little bit further, and then it's like, okay, badge point 82, plus the rating just being higher in general might be worth. So the defensive badges this build will run is interceptor, clamps, challenger, and then we'll have Menace as well on Hoff. So anything past that is a little bit extra, whether it's gonna be maybe Box Out Beast or Brick Wall. The plan is just to not run Glove, not run Chase Down, no Pogo, Anchor, Rebound Chaser, anything like that. And he can run Pick Dodger, like Menace, Interceptor, then Core, like Clamps, and then run Challenger as well. So we need a couple defensive badges added to this build to make that happen, but that's gonna be the plan. Because as far as playmaking and shooting goes, we don't really need a whole lot more. And then we don't really need much more than one finishing badge either to just make everything work. So. Now we explain really quick what's going to happen on defense because a lot of you guys know on our main five out team I've been guarding ball for the most part on my versatile like 6-9 Ben Simmons build where it has so much defensive versatility with 93 block and 88 perimeter defense 90 steal rating for the gold interceptor me and IQ play our sides defense duo and that works really really good I will say we may miss out on that a tad bit but the plan with this build is for AK to guard ball. He's going to guard other teams' point guards as well, and I'll be on the wing defense with it with 88 Prim D and 78 Steel as well, with also really good challenger clamps and stuff like that too, and interceptor as well. So our versatility as far as me and AK goes, we're going to probably be able to switch everything on the wings, whether teams run wraps and stuff like that on us. Our size is going to be really good defensively as a team, considering we're going to have a 6'8", 6'9", 6'9", 6'9", and then a 7-footer as well probably. So... This stuff is going to be really, really greasy, man. And I think just how much the spacing of the court is going to be opened up, it's going to be really, really nice. But to talk about the power of this build once again, the fact that it's going to be able to guard ball makes it so I get to guard wing. I get to run the fast break really often. We can obviously do a lot of things to help AK as an on-ball defender on this build because obviously you can't really follow your own drives or follow like cuts that well. I actually will argue that following your cuts off ball can be pretty, pretty manageable. I do it on my like 59 interior defense with a six foot nine as well. And I think that's plenty doable personally with the interior defense being 71 I think this is really really good now the reason I actually did this as well you can see me and AK were looking at this stuff and I think we were like eh, yeah we could go with like 61 interior D and maybe try and get the D board up as well but as you can see you don't even get the badge point on defensive rebound until 74 D board and it forces your O board up as well not to mention it has to take away from other attributes in this case acceleration also so instead we just went with the interior defense to 71 and I think this is more reasonable anyway to have good interior d on a build like this could be a little bit more justifiable off following cuts like i just said maybe if you do end up guarding the interior as far as like if someone drove on you your interior defense can still definitely get the job done and yet yes you can't really get blocks but that's not even a huge deal with the vertical only being 60 this is a good budget defender if you ask me especially considering the fact that it's only meant to really play perimeter lockdown so the plan defensively would obviously be IQ could be on a 6-9 playing back end with his 93 block and 94 D board and stuff like that. And then he's going to be able to take obviously like front and back drives and stuff like that. Or not to mention too, we could still even rotate the exact same way we, we have a little bit, but we've been a little bit more hesitant to it on the main team because I'm on that 6-9 playing on ball. So I can just switch on to bigs as long as we communicate it properly. With this Yes, it is a little bit more moving pieces, but that's not even a bad thing at the end of the day most times. With our team, we're really educated as far as this Pro-Am stuff goes, so I have full confidence in us to run great rotations, whether it's stack or triangle, stack being the side that has two off balls on it near the wing, and then triangle being the one that's away from the wing. And if you guys know this stuff, you know it. If you don't, you don't. We'll talk about it in other Pro-Am videos if you wanted to see it as well. But anyway, we're kind of rambling a little bit. Let's get back to the build. 84 speed, 82 excel, Hoff quick first step, 98 stamina, all the really cool key things that you're going to need as far as a build goes. And again, this is a really niche style of a player where they don't really care too much about poster or slithery, yet they're 6'8". AK has really good movement. He's going to be able to run all types of sigs and, and jump shots that he's already going to be pretty comfortable with and definitely doesn't need to spend too much time adjusting. And he's just a good player in general too, so should be easy for him. And I really cannot stress enough to you guys what this consistency of pick and roll ability from a point guard is going to do for me in the half court offense as well being able to get my easy takeover off slips maybe having him dot the corners as well having a back seat like another set of eyes from a point guard and telling me what to look out for or to call his own number and say what he can do for the offense as well this stuff's gonna go crazy man and not to mention once again playing with elite lockdowns like iq on the back end we got apollo to contribute as well off the wing and still tonic as our big man as well to contribute on offense too and this spacing is going to open up the dunk meters for them out the corner so much so much better as well 
And I'm looking forward to it, man. I think it's going to be so fire. So anyway, takeovers. You can see we got sharp shot, play, and lock. The, ch the probable thing is that AK is going to run some combo between sharp and play. So the logic here would be if he runs play primary, he could actually help me quite a bit as far as getting my takeover not to mention if he does run play primary it may even just be a situation where we can work some pick and pop pick and roll consistently through him and i'll be able to maybe be a primary scorer off of him he may even just get his own shots more consistently too because people have to play defensively more according to the off balls when play take is active you have to really stay at home and not allow other people to get shots whether it's just for the fact that it's easier to hit off play take or for that matter too that you're going to give them better takeover just if they don't and maybe they may not know it as well with team takeover boost some people run ratings boost some people run badge boost but takeover boost is crazy man it's actually insane and again pairing that with maybe me who runs double slash take and when i get on slash take i'm a whole different player versus when i don't have it so the plan would be we can just run through AK a tad bit if they decide to put non locks on him and then boom we can go PNR through that I can get my takeover easy then I get take and I can go at locks confidently anyway and then other than that I mean we can just go to the like hot hand so to say not exactly the streaky hot hand but more so the bad defender hand I guess you could argue but anyway we're gonna go ahead and showcase the badge loadouts here for what we're planning to actually end up running on this and the amount of extra badges that we plan to like implement not to mention that he's probably gonna run a double shooting core as well so we'll just align that all and explain to you guys how it's gonna work all right so let's talk about some badges now i really do want to explain to you guys you're gonna have to really use your imagination a tad bit on this because we're gonna have to do things like implement the fact that we have to add a couple of badge points into certain areas so first and foremost going to be obviously adding that extra finishing badge point so that's going to get us limitless takeoff on silver and then at that point we can run all types of bronzes as well so just to really factor this in again because if you get like another badge point on this that's going to be takeoff on silver we have bronze fast twitch bronze fearless finisher bronze masher and then bronze rise up as well so rise up being pertaining to the standing dunks obviously masher for really considering your 6 8 right even if he has a 6 3 on him or maybe a 6 1 whatever the case may be the close shots are still gonna be able to perform better if we don't really care for this he could obviously throw on aerial wizard or maybe even acrobat paired with like a couple bits of giant slayer here and there like for instance if masher ends up being kind of useless we could just go with something like this and that'd be perfectly fine as well likely so that's as far as our finishing goes and it's about as simple as that we're not going to core badge anything obviously only it only get us like bronze poster or three anyway if we cord take off and that's not gonna be worth anyway so thankfully he actually has a double shooting core as far as an option i know some of you guys may not have that as well obviously so it does suck that you wouldn't be able to em emulate that quite as much all it's going to cost you though is catch and shoot you'll be able to run this exact badge that out right here with no catch and shoot that does go a long way though i will say and it actually could be pretty consistent or for that matter he could even run dead eye too and just cancel out on catch and shoot entirely because Obviously, I don't want to really cater his badges to catch and shooting because he could very likely shoot a lot of shots in pick and roll as well. And that's why I personally don't even run catch and shoot either on my build. So pretty much the way I figure is if he were to do something like core limitless and blinders, which is going to be tough, that actually is very unlikely for that matter. Or obviously, if he does core catch, then he can just run that as well. But likely what I think could be a really good loadout to run would be Deadeye because it's going to help him in the pick and roll offense and catch and shoot offense, whereas catch and shoot is obviously only going to help in the five out offense where i have the ball and it's not likely i'll use him as a pick and popper or anything like that so it's only going to be in a half of our offense essentially but anyway hoff green machine gold agent three gold blinders gold limitless and then the hoff claymore as well volume on silver we could add a couple of extra shooting badges as well but like i said the plan is one one finishing we'll come back to playmaking in a second because defense needs a couple additions as long as we add two more defense you would be able to core let's just go ahead and take all this stuff off because it's a little bit confusing so if you add two defense that means you get to core clamps on gold and that means you get it for free so we'll just imagine that it's there essentially and then with those two extra badge points that means we still have seven to spend and you'll be able to get the gold challenger as well so that would leave us with gold challenger gold clamps cord silver interceptor gold pick dodger and hoff menace I know some of you may scoff at the idea of no workhorse or maybe like no ankle braces or something like that. I think this is perfectly fine. I think he's going to get away with this easy. I don't think workhorse is a must have either for that matter. And even if it was, oh well, it's not as important as maybe say playmaking and shooting badges would be. And we just need two extra defense essentially is all we need. And with the two extra defense, it will be able to get both of these tier threes right here. As far as our playmaking goes, we need at least two more extra as well. So that would get us handles for days on silver, be able to run that. You're going to have to core badge one of the tier threes, which is obviously unpluckable or clamp breaker. Clamp breaker is probably going to be the easiest one. You can just go on Hoff my career and just like run right into the CPUs all day. <laughs> it's actually pretty doable. But anyway, again, 
two extra playmaking gets you that handles for days silver hyperdrive is really good it's it, according to 2k labs the kind of breaking point of it i like to run gold personally because it's so pertaining to my play style but it's about all we need from that point bronze bailout hoff quick first step gold unpluckable silver handles for days and then the gold clamp breaker and i mean that's definitely doing enough as far as the playmaking goes so just to recap we need two more playmaking two more defense and then we need one more finishing at the bare minimum and that's definitely what you can afford as well all right so we're going to go into some rec gameplay real quick to explain to you guys how we could maybe utilize this build for instance so as you can see we got ak over here as our kind of off guard right but now i have slash take so i'm trying to get the ball back from him this is number one of the most important things that it will provide from having him on this wing which is the fact that if people see him constantly in the pick and roll offense they're not going to feel quite as comfortable helping off of him as well so it will give me more room to shoot and not really get pinched off these wings even if they do pinch off the wings i feel comfortable going here to him with the ball and we can work pick and roll from there with nothing lost in our offense no stumbled movement no like you know uh hiccups here and there it's going to be able to transition straight into pnr off him on the wing long run middle me slip read rotations he all, he knows all that stuff to a t so it's going to be easy as far as that goes but again him off ball absolutely demanding defensive attention maybe even the best defender on the team for that matter and then i get to go at their second best defenders and it's unlikely that it would be the case with me on takeover but it does again still open up things for me on offense like that where as you can see i'm able to get more spacing and be able to just shoot shots like that and without do overdoing too much of this film right here because it honestly wasn't like a super crazy game or anything like that but this is one of the biggest things that will be an addition for me offensively which is him as a secondary ball handler so as you can see me taking it in the five out i however do a couple drip moves that burn my adrenaline like crazy as you can see i already burned two right there and now i'm out here not really able to create too much more after that so we're gonna go to him off that we can work miscellaneous pick and roll from there and now i'm just a screener where this defender was so focused on me now he's not not even thinking to step up on AK or anything like that. So as you can see, they, they have to send a lot of help off the corner right here. AK sets up a snatch back, sets up the slip with me, and now as you can see, I and him have so much like synergy and just chemistry as far as stuff like this goes so now i'm setting up for the slip as he long runs middle and now i'm going down right here i can rotate i can read the rotate myself as well go ahead and just spam my a button over here even back to him as well we have options of me on the pick and pop too for that matter and then honestly <laughs> there could even be situations where he just dots the rotation too because this guy's super far out of the play and isn't even able to get there but that is just a little microcosm of what's going to be added to the court right here with this build. Anyway, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the offensive potential that this is going to like really bring to the team and how much things we're going to do between pick and roll and pick and pop slash five out offense and really just open things up. And our defense is going to be elite too. No more small guard defense where we can't really send as much help off the corner. Like helping from corner to wing essentially is what I'm saying. We have like these little defensive ideas that we have like this thing called breakout where essentially you run a two three where your corners are fronting because they kept their big man down or maybe their big big man is just an inside in general so you can run a two three where your back end quote unquote just plays all lanes get, takes any back doors from the corner takes anything cutting slashing anything like that and then you can just essentially have both your wings overplay and only play for three pointers you can have both your corners front the corner and send help upward toward the wings as well and things like that having a non-6-1 on the court goes a long way you have so much more size so much more interception ability so much more challenger and just like contestability and just take up way more space it's so annoying for teams to deal with so i am looking forward to the hybrid factor that this brings to our offense and defense and i'm excited man for sure if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video and you want to show your support that you made it all the way through put shots or put ak in the comments show supports me all the way through shout out to my boy i'm looking forward to really getting on this duo with him and honestly i think this has been a long time coming or long awaited no pun intended but <laughs> anyway this stuff right here is going to be really, really potent as far as offense goes and so many different set of eyes to really scout things out and just tell each other about and stuff like that. I'm still not sure. Apollo might actually be making a new build to play on our off guard wing spot as well. He's technically going to be the three, quote unquote, but I obviously need two wings or two shooting guard builds in a five out offense. So we may even revamp his build a little bit and i'll look into maybe a perfect build as far as stuff like that goes but iq and tonic shouldn't really have to change too much as far as the builds go we still need a back end we still need a rotating big man and still someone that can shoot at the big as well so fortunately we don't have too many moving pieces right here and apollo even could still use his current 6-9 build as well but it would still give, leave us with a couple icon options like or icon problems like ak being at the x button and me being at the b button sometimes and apollo being at the a stuff that we would maybe just need new build for anyway just considering it could really help to have just different ratings on the build period because it's going to be more of a different role than it's used to but anyway that's all video hope you enjoyed none that take these man peace